Hey, it's uh, Corey Blake for Day 92 on my Vulnerability Challenge, and I'm just having such an awesome morning. Uh, I'm doing my final prep and rehearsal for a presentation that I give this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Um, and uh, I'm, just, I'm just loving it. I'm so, I feel so blessed to be in this space. Um, I've been, so I've been coaching five members of this executive team for a few weeks to be able to get uh, to the front of the room and share with all of their employees some stories around their core values and why they're so imperative to them. And these people have leaned into my process with such awesome courage. And I know that I'm good at making it safe for them to do that. Um, but at the same time, it's been such a pleasure to be inspired by where they're meeting me and watching them start to share the stories with each other as we did yesterday when we got together at their office. And this afternoon we're gonna to get to see them share these stories with all of their staff members. So today what I've been rehearsing is my intro, which is my own personal pivotal transformational story that sets the tone, that gets real, that's gonna invite them to lean in even more to vulnerability so that they can, this, this whole thing is about instigating a shift in their company. Today is an invitation to all of their employees to live into what's next as an organization and for those employees to honor and recognize that they have a voice in that transition. So I'm going to share, the executive team's going to share, and then I'm going to facilitate sharing from all of the employees in small groups and then out loud. This is such awesome work. I I, it's hard for me to express because I know there are a lot of people that do work around core values, but when you combine core values, storytelling, and vulnerability, this is some holy shit stuff, and I am so ecstatic to be leading it. I just I feel beyond blessed. Now, I won't lie to you. I am also I, I will be nervous the whole day today. I will panic at points. Um, come and when we get close to the time, I think my biggest concern will be my energy because I'm a morning person and three o'clock is far from my best energetic time. So I'm going to have to really manage my energy today. I'm going to have to go out of my way to do an awesome warm up before um, where I play and open myself up and remind myself to be loose and fun rather than uh, potentially getting caught up in the concern of low energy. So that's the big challenge that I have to lean into. One of my earlier vulnerability challenges I shared after I presented in a way where I hated my energy and I felt terrible afterwards. So I'm really cognizant of that. In fact, I'm cognizant of it mostly because my wife said to me this, brought it up to me this morning and reminded me and I said, oh my God, thank you. I have to remember to do an awesome warm up and really loosen myself up. So this is real stuff uh, for me, uh, but I'm so freaking blessed to be in this place where I feel like I'm giving the gifts that I was born to give to the world. So for any of you who have been watching, thank you for being part of my journey, for supporting me in arriving at that at this place where I can do what I'm born to do. I'm so grateful. And I hope as always that my vulnerability challenge is inspiring you. <sighs> do something real today. Say something real today. It is so freaking powerful. Thanks for listening.